Hi, this is Tom Pritcher again, and today we're going to be talking about uh, sacred geometry and alchemy. Well, we talked a lot about alchemy, and we've been talking about sacred geometry, uh, but uh, haven't so often uh, called it that. Uh, now, I'm going to be be referring to some of my past videos that I can't explain everything about here, of course, but uh, you're going to have to refer back to uh, some of the earlier videos to understand what I'm talking about. <clears throat> One of those things is the olfactory meditation and how the olfactory meditation uh, relates to that other video that's been uh, online for a long time. Uh, creating your reality in the quantum physics observer effect. And uh, what, okay, directly to the sacred geometry. For every level of consciousness, and that's how we create our realities according to our level of consciousness, for our every level of consciousness there's an energy that we emit. So somebody uh, that's angry emits an angry energy. Somebody that's at a depth of consciousness uh, emits, emits an energy according to that depth of consciousness like uh, kindness, compassion, love, and uh, things that correspond with our level of consciousness. So in the olfactory meditation we learned how to get to deeper levels of consciousness and uh, circulate and amplify the energy of that depth of consciousness that uh, that uh, keeps on amplifying until we activate our light body and uh, so the sacred geometry is happens in sacred place remember I talked about that uh, poem I love so much, the Rumi poem, out beyond the ideas of right doing and wrong doing, there is a field. I'll meet you there. Out beyond the ideas of right doing and wrong doing, to me that's beyond thought and concept. It's beyond the ideas that your mind makes up and that field then is sacred place. So the alchemy that I'm talking about here is what I call metahermeneutical alchemy which is learning how to work with energy beyond thought and concept, beyond the ideas of right doing and wrong doing in sacred place. It's not hard to do, but you have to practice it. And all along in these videos, I've, I've been trying to pass along some very important things, uh, secrets. Remember I said, uh, uh, you can't tell a secret or else it wouldn't be a secret. But what you can do is do the work yourself and these secrets will be revealed to you. That's really the only way that the true secrets uh, happen, the deeper secrets. You know, there are secrets about superficial things that uh, aren't in the same category of what I'm talking about. So, uh, that video on creating your reality and the, the olfactory meditation of uh, circulating the energy, um, that energy has, um, for all levels of consciousness, that energy has um, a very literal physical element to it that comes out our skin and then we breathe it in and we learn how to circulate it through the processes that I teach. <coughs> And, and we amplify that, but that literal energy is crystalline in nature. In other words, uh, crystalline is the geometry. The sacred geometry of consciousness is something that we can work with, uh, starting with the, the eye movements and the breath to balance out all our energies and, and focus and ground and center and deepen our level of consciousness. and. Uh, so go back to the earlier videos and, and learn the process and practice it. And I'm very much open to questions and, and uh, uh, stuff like that. Now this crystalline energy that we generate that uh, 
relates to what I talked about before also, uh, the, the newest fear. Remember I talked about the, the French uh, philosopher, anthropologist, paleontologist, uh, spiritual teacher, Pierre Teilhard de Chardin. And he talked about the newosphere, and the way he described it is a band of thought that surrounds the globe. And uh, what the sacred geometry can do when we generate enough of certain energies here around our physical bodies, we can tune in to these other energies that, uh, that are out there. Uh, whether or not they surround the globe is 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 a metaphor for uh, we can tune into them. And for example, when when people pray for to to a certain person or a thing like uh, 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 praying to Jesus, you can tune in to that energy and and if you know how, you can access and amplify that energy and then use that energy. And this is the power of of creating your reality and the power of alchemy with sacred geometry. And yes, I, I, I'm just hinting at it here because it's all I can do on these uh, short videos. But for people that have been following my teaching for a while and practicing the, the methods that I teach, uh, you'll be able to figure it out. So we, we amplify the energy get to a depth of consciousness we get to sacred place where we activate our light body and we can tune in to that greater light energy or any energy that we want to in the newosphere now i think that is uh, very very exciting and uh you know there's a lot more i can talk about about reality and truth in the blue rose and uh the the uh but those are all things that I've talked about earlier. So I've, I've said enough here to get you going a little bit more. And we will continue. If you continue, I'll continue. And as I say at the end, amo ergo sum.